structure of DNA. Do you remember what DNA stands for? Isn't it deoxyribonucleic acid and aren't nucleotides the monomer of all nucleic acids? That's right. Well, DNA is a genetic material found in all cells. Can you think of a reason that an organism would need to make new cells? Um, maybe that would be necessary for repair of my skin when I fall and scrape my knee or for growing taller when I'm a teenager. Exactly. Growth and repair in organisms require the new cells be made by cell division. However, before a cell can make more of itself, it needs to copy its DNA exactly. That's, that way, its genetic code can be passed on to new cells. So this process of making new cells is called cell division? Tell me more about how DNA is copied. Well, copying DNA is called DNA replication and has to happen before cells divide. This process doubles the amount of DNA in cells. Do you remember what the structure of a DNA is? Yes, um, it's a double helix or twisted ladder. Well, before DNA replication can start, the double helix needs to untwist and the two strands need to be separated. So how does that separation of the two strands occur? Between the nitrogenous base pairs is the, in the double helix, the two strands of DNA are connected together by weak hydrogen bonds. An enzyme called DNA helicase untwists the molecules and starts breaking those hydrogen bonds down. So, DNA helicase untwists and unzips the DNA molecules? Exactly. Next, a second enzyme called DNA polymerase adds new nucleotides to the original strands of DNA, which are now separated. The new strands being added are called complementary strands. Okay, so where does all of this happen? The place where this splitting of the molecule happens is called the replication fork. Do you remember the rules for base pairing? Yeah, I remember. Uh, adenine pairs with thymine and cytosine plays pairs with guanine. Yes, A pairs with T and C pairs with G. Got it. So when those new nucleotides are added, what happens when A accidentally pairs with C? Well, that's the second job of DNA polymerase. It proofreads the new complementary sequences being formed and repairs any mistakes it finds. The goal of DNA replication is to copy the DNA exactly from parent cells to daughter cells. Alright, so DNA helicase will untwist and split the double helix and DNA polymerase will add nucleotides and proofread the new strands. Yes, each strand of the original double helix of DNA serves as a template or pattern for the new strand. For this reason, DNA replication is to be called semi-conservative. So semi-conservative means half is from the original that is saved and half is new? Right, the result of DNA replication is two DNA molecules that are identical to each other and to the original DNA molecule. Okay, so here we have a, D a DNA double helix, and we're going to show you how it literally is split apart by DNA helicase. So the enzyme DNA helicase will come in and split apart these hydrogen bonds that bond the nitrogen spaces together, and we call that unzipping or untwisting our double helix. Now we have two strands that are ready to be paired up with a complementary strand. So this guy will go off and pair with a new one that has this same sequence. This guy will pair with a new one, and then we end up with two DNA molecules that are identical to the original. I want to review the base pairing rules. Remember, apples grow on trees and cars need gas. Here you see the original strand of DNA, and this part right here would be the complementary strand, and across from each other, they're matching using base pair rulings. Here are some pictures of the DNA replication forks, as well as a chromosome and a strand of DNA. This diagram shows the DNA replication fork. What is happening is the DNA helicase splits the hydrogen bonds between the two sides of the DNA double helix. Then the DNA polymerase adds bases to the opened up strands, thus making two new DNA molecules. If DNA polymerase does not catch a mistake, a mutation occurs, which is a change in the DNA. Explain to a partner what is happening here. Describe the process of DNA replication.